So yesterday I told you that a Lizard Squad member was recently convicted of over 50,000 cyber crimes, including swatting, harassment, fraud violations, data breaches, and more. And gamers, of course, will remember that Lizard Squad was the group that claimed responsibility for taking down PlayStation Network and Xbox Live over Christmas break last year. So he was sentenced to two years suspended sentence, which means he's not going to serve any more jail time unless he commits more crimes and he's going to have his online movements monitored by authorities. But that news didn't sit well with former Sony executive John Smedley, who's now in charge of Daybreak Studios. They're the team behind Planetside, H1Z1, EverQuest, and a lot of other titles you've probably heard of. So the reason John took it so personally is because the guy who's been convicted allegedly made it personal. So last year, John was on a plane and had his flight diverted after a bomb threat was called in on an American Airlines flight that he was on. He also claims that several other things happened. So John went off today on Twitter, and here's what he wrote. This was the piece of garbage that brought my plane down, leaked my information, and did all kinds of other crap to me. It's important to note he was convicted of crimes that had nothing to do yet with the PlayStation Network DDoS over Christmas. Yes, he was a part of that. And he still has 15 other criminal cases awaiting prosecution in Finland. I may go after his parents in civil court too, little dirtbag. So stay tuned because at What Security, here's his Twitter address, he's a sociopath and we'll get what's coming to him. What they won't tell you is that he did time in jail already and got his ass kicked pretty hard inside. Tell us that story, Julius. The FBI nailed this guy literally immediately, but it took the Finnish government a long time to catch up. He should have said it took the Finnish government a long time to finish. I got to talk to this little dirtbag once when he called and pretended to be somebody else. Also got to listen to the entire conversation between him and the American Airlines the day he called in the bomb threat. His parents need to be held accountable for his actions in addition to his going to jail. So, I'm coming for you, Julius. So according to Smedley, there's still charges pending against this guy. And if Finland is going to claim that he was underage because he was 17 and wasn't responsible, then he's considering going after the party that would be responsible for him which would be his parents. You know, when you're 17, your brain's not fully developed yet. Um, but uh, on your 18th birthday, if you haven't got there yet, it's like you just wake up one day and you know exactly what's right and wrong all of a sudden. Uh, but that also means the government can come down a lot harder on you too. So I told you last night that I think this guy got off pretty easy. Uh, and I was surprised because a lot of people... Well, maybe not a lot of people, but a lot more than I expected was actually saying that they felt that Finland did the right thing here by not imprisoning him because he didn't actually hurt anybody. So I'm not saying that the kid should rot in jail the rest of his life because he took down multiplayer for PlayStation and Xbox. And I agree that the justice system here in the States is a complete joke. It's run like a business. You've got murderers and rapists who are, are let go to commit other crimes so that they can make room in the jails to bring in other people. And you've got nonviolent criminals who are spending decades in prison over plants. You've got the entire justice system acting like a, a money-making business. They've got private prisons, they got lawyers, judges, etc. that just, you know, bring in all this money by putting people away. And so I think, you know, it's a, it's a terrible system. And I agree that we should focus more on rehabilitation here than what we do. Because a lot of these people aren't leaving rehabilitated. They're, they're leaving as gangbangers and everything else, a lot worse than what they were whenever they came in. And the U.S. also has more people imprisoned than any other place in the globe when you look at the numbers per capita. So I could go on and on and on about how terrible the prison system is here. But... This guy didn't just take off Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. He wasn't just an internet bully by typing out mean messages to people. He literally put people's lives in danger. And I don't think people really fully comprehend or understand the gravity of a situation until you're faced looking down the barrel of several assault rifles pointed at you from the police when you're swatted. 
And, I mean, he also had an entire plane diverted going after this one guy. Well, those other people who were on that plane also had their lives, you know, diverted as well. And maybe some of them were trying to get places, trying to get home because they have a loved one, you know, who's in the hospital. Who knows? You know, it's not just, oh, well, it was a little inconvenience for some people. You could really impact people's lives by doing some of these things. And I get that a lot of people look at Microsoft and Sony and they say, well, they lost a few million dollars. You know, who cares? They've got money to lose like that. But, I mean, you got to place yourself in a position where if you're running a business and if somebody did this to you and your business and you lost out on a ton of money or the taxpayers lost out on a ton of money because the, the police was sending all their forces over to somebody's house who was just sitting there playing a video game, when you add it all up, yes, I think he does deserve a harsher sentence than what he got. And he does deserve probably to spend time in jail or at least have the internet taken away from him for a bit for all the things that he used the internet for. And, I mean, I understand that these people are also uh, going to work to, to stop or fight cybercrime. And after their probation period's over... A lot of them get high-paying, good jobs to stay on at that job in order to fight cybercrime. So I would much rather have him fighting cybercrime than taking part in it, at least the way he was doing it. You know, if some people are fighting to uncover wrongdoings at, you know, whatever. I'm not even going to get into it. But this guy was just doing things for the lulls. And he was putting people's lives in danger. And he got a slap on the wrist, which I think is just an encouragement to others to go out and do the same thing. So post below, do you think it's right for Smedley to want to go after the parents of this guy if he's going to get away? And do you think anything further is going to happen to him? And are you disappointed with this ruling or do you think it's fair? If you want to read more about it, link's down in the description box. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.